Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the new Corsair Hydro Series H100i water cooler. This is the new top of the line water cooler from Corsair, which is basically replacing the H100 kit. The H100i should basically offer more performance and also comes with a fresh design. Here's the box. Again, this is the Corsair Hydro Series H100i Extreme Performance Liquid CPU Cooler. There even is a picture of the unit itself on the box. On the back of the box you will get more details in different languages and you will also get a preview on how the performance would look like and how loud it is. For my personal taste the box looks outstanding if that matters of course. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Right on top you get that little booklet called Course Solution Sky 2010 and yeah that's kinda outdated. Then here's a note called Warranty Against Effects. Here's that orange stop note. Corsa basically wants you to use their RMA service instead of returning this product to the store. Now this is very important. This is the installation guide of the water cooler. Make sure you read and pay attention to it before trying to blindly install the cooler into your system. But now let's get to the actual package. In this bag are all the screws and standoffs you would need. Then in here are the mounting brackets and these look really nice. This one is the AMD bracket and the other one Intel. Both brackets look very robust and they are made out of metal, I like that. Then there is another bag in this package and in there are some cables. This one for example is the Corsair Link USB cable. You will basically connect the pump LED and fan controller with an internal USB cable. It's good that the cable is black so it can be hidden easier in the case. But there are two more cables. These are the cables that connect the fans with the pump fan controller. You see, these are special connections here that go into the pump. And on the other side are two 4 pin fan headers on one cable. But we have two, so altogether you can hook up 4 fans with this. What I really like about Corsa water cooling kits is that all the cables and connections are black. They really thought of us enthusiasts that want to tuck things away. Next are the fans. These are Corsair's SP120L fans. So two 120mm fans and these look really good and look almost identical to Corsair's SP120 fans. Three pin fan connectors are used and the fan cables itself are all black and that's just great. And finally the water cooling unit itself. As you can see a 240mm radiator is used and it has a standard width. This means it should fit in lots of cases that support dual radiators. Now once I've mounted the fans onto the radiator, the water cooler looks more complete now. And the design, wow, it looks great and clean. The size of the cooler is pretty much standard and as long as your computer case supports dual radiators, there should be no problem fitting this cooler. The fans look outstanding on the radiator and it's a completely new color scheme, I like it a lot. Mounting the fans onto the radiator was no problem at all. And just so you know, there's absolutely no spacing between these two fans. So that's just a standard radiator. Of course you could also run a push-pull configuration by mounting two additional fans onto the other side of the radiator. Here's the pump and fan controller at the same time. Obviously this is an angular shaped pump and I love that. It has a very interesting shape. I really like the Corsa logo on the pump but this isn't just an ordinary logo or LED. No, in fact it is LED but you can set up your own preferred color for this logo. This can be set up in the Corsa Link software which you have to download from Corsa's website. It will allow you to control your fan and pump speeds and will allow you to mix down your color with RGB sliders for this Corsa LED. On this side of the pump is the Corsa Link USB and standard Corsa Link connection. On the other side are the two special fan connectors. But I personally find it to be a bad idea having these special connections. Standard fan headers would have been a lot better in my opinion. Thermal paste comes reapplied already, but I'd recommend taking it off because afterwards you will have to clean up a horrible mess because this is too much paste. The quality of the paste is good, but it's simply too much. As for the tubes, Corsa decided to go with really thick robust rubber tubes which increase the flow rate and the flexibility. The end that leads into the radiator seems to be pretty good and on the other side, into the pump, everything is also secured very nicely. To adjust the position you could also turn these around, I like that. Alright, as you can see I connected the two fans to the Y cable here and that one is connected to the pump fan controller. But there are more connections to make. You get a SATA connection here and a 3 pin fan connector. The SATA connector will power up the pump and the fan connector will control the pump RPM. 
I like it a lot that all the connectors as well as the cables are all black. Good, but before we continue, let's take a look at the specifications. The Corsair Hydro Series H100i uses copper as the cold plate material. The radiator dimensions are 275 by 122 by 27 millimeters. These are 10.83 by 4.8 by 1.06 inches. Two 120 millimeter fans are included. This water cooler supports the following sockets at the time of this video. Intel LJ2011, LJ1366, LJ1155 and 1156, AMD AM3 Plus AM3, AM2 Plus slash AM2, and lastly FM2 slash FM1. Alright, once you've installed this water cooler into your machine, your system will make a very elegant impression. Since the cooler is all black and grey, it will pretty much fit with every single color scheme and that's good. As you all know, I'm a big fan of angular shaped things and therefore the pump looks just fantastic for me. Hiding the cables was no problem at all. As you can see, I routed the ATX 12V 8 pin power connector through the back of the case through the hole on the top left hand corner. The cooler fitted perfectly in my case and I'm using the Thermaltic Armor Rio Black Full Tar case and I've also reviewed that one if you're interested. Obviously, you see, high profile memory is no problem here. But let's be honest, that's with every water cooler and there's nothing special here. But yeah, it makes a good impression to me. The cables can be hidden very easily and the radiator with the fans fitted in my case without any problems. The fans aren't the quietest on the market but they perform very nicely. As you can see, I decided to have the tubes on the right side, because that way it looks more elegant to me. But you could of course also turn the radiator around and therefore you would have the tubes on the left. The tubes also seem to be fairly robust. All in all, it looks great for the eye, but unfortunately I also faced some problems. Let's start with the mounting bracket, the Intel backplate to be specific. The backplate that comes with this water cooler doesn't work. There's simply too much spacing between the motherboard and the four standoffs. It will move around and is completely insecure. Please do not use this backplate as the cooler will not make real contact with the CPU, causing the CPU to overheat. This probably is an issue with the first models of these H100i units. Corsa will probably fix this sometime soon. It looks like Corsa made a measuring mistake here. What I did to solve that problem was, well, I also have the older Corsair H100 water cooler. This one comes with a somewhat identical Intel backplate and I used that one. It's working perfectly fine. But if you don't have a spare backplate from the H100, well, what you could do is use non-metal safety washers. But I also experienced noise issues with the fans. The H100i fans were basically making some kind of grinding noise when spinning at lower RPM. Once they were at high RPM, there was no noise anymore. I tried using 100% working fans and the same problem persisted. Then I found out it had something to do with the pump fan controller. Once I unplugged the fans from the pump fan controller and connected the two fans to fan headers on my motherboard, the noise was completely gone even at low RPM. I don't know if it's only my unit that has this kind of problem, but if you end up with the same problem, you at least know how to fix it now. But let's get away from the issues and maybe I should show you the options in the Corsair Link software. In here you will be able to monitor the H100i temperature, the pump and fan speeds if they are connected to the pump fan controller of course, not the motherboard fan headers. You can choose from different presets or force the fans to spin at the specific speed. A fantastic option would be the H100i LED color mixer. You can choose from lots of different colors and you can also change the LED mode, like normal, maybe with pulse light, cycling and temperature. Temperature will change the LED color depending on how high the CPU temperature currently is. I think Corsa did a fantastic job here and enthusiasts such as myself love features like that. You could also save your own presets. Now take a look how the Corsa logo looks like in the dark with different colors. I hope you can see it through the camera. All in all the design is fantastic, but how about the performance? Well, let's take a look at the temperatures then. But before I can show you that, here's my test system. As you can see, I'll be cooling down the Intel Core i7-3770K CPU that is running at stock speed, so nothing's overclocked.
So the Corsair Hydra Series H100i is a great choice for the enthusiasts that are looking for a good pre-filled water cooler. The cooling performance is outstanding and it beats many coolers from the competition, but also Corsair's own older H100 unit. That's amazing for the price, which is almost the same one as the H100 at the time of this video. Unfortunately I had to face some problems with this unit, the first one being the poorly measured out Entel backplate and the second problem being the fan grinding noise when the fans are connected to the pump fan controller. Connecting the fans to the motherboard fan headers fixed this problem though. Well it's definitely not a water cooler without any problems, not yet. I'm sure Corsa will fix these issues in the near future. Aside from the problems, only judging the performance and the looks of this unit, it's fantastic. The design is very good for my taste, especially with that beautifully shaped pump, but this is a matter of taste actually. The overall build quality doesn't seem to be all that bad and Corsa backs this up with a 5 year warranty, very nice. This H100i unit is meant for people that want a pre-filled good looking water cooler which can keep CPUs very cool. Pros are great price performance ratio, very good cooling performance, then I like the fantastic design, the flexible robust rubber tubes the metal mounting brackets and lastly it fits in most computer cases that support dual radiators. For the cons, well the Intel backplate is poorly measured and you can't use it unless you add non-metal safety washers. Then a fan grinding noise is produced when the fans are connected to the pump unit. But still I believe the second problem can be fixed fairly easily and that's why I give this water cooler a 9 out of 10 and would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.